Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I have the cutest Halloween card to share using this die set from Honeybee Stamps. This is called Heart Hugs, and you know I couldn't resist turning that bear into a little witch. And so I've got this die set also called Toil and Trouble, and I'm going to add that little witch's hat, and there's a little broom that you can layer up, and lots of accessories. I'm also trying out the Waffle Flower Grip Mat for the first time, as well as some of their brushes that are flat. And I thought this would be really fun to use today to color up the die cuts. I have this little sampler pack here. I'm going to use a couple of the brushes out of it. These are the flat ones. I didn't have any of these, anything like this in my stash. And that's gonna really help to color up the witch hat for sure and then i've die cut all of the pieces for the bear and the hedgehog you can see that there's not too many pieces there are some smaller pieces for the eyes and nose but other than that it's very simple to put together and that's what i loved about it you can put this card together pretty quickly just with a few die cuts and coloring those up now i'm adding some distress ink here in vintage photo I'm adding that to give a little shading on his spines. And I thought that that really added something, but later on I'm gonna bring in some Copic markers as well. And then I've got some tea dye distress ink to color up his body. So that will be a little lighter and the spines will be a little bit darker. And look how cute that is gonna be all layered up. But this is where I thought, oh, I just wanna color those spines a little more obvious like a little more dramatic so i brought my copics out and i'm just swiping along the back there with e57 e55 and e53 those are some of my favorite colors for browns as you know if you've been following me i use them a lot so look how cute that is now i'm going to go ahead and add a few little dots of glue for his eyes and nose and the nice thing about this die set is they are scored on there so you know exactly where to put them, no guessing. So that was really lovely. I'm just gonna use my craft tool here to pick those up, add them to the die, and look how he comes alive just having a face. It's so cute. Now in this same die set, there is a fox, and I did not cut him out at first, and then later on, I felt bad about that. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a card at the end that I create using that fox as well. So I'm going to be using all the critters from the die set. Then for the bear, I am inking on some weathered wood and I'm using Distress Oxide for this because I didn't have that color in the Distress ink. So I wanted it to be like a gray-ish polar bear looking bear. So that's why I chose that color. And here's the nose and the eyes. I'm gonna add a little pink to his ears and look at our little friends here. Aren't they cute? So here's where it gets fun and turns it into a Halloween card. By adding this die set here, we're going to turn them into some little costume critters. I love this broom. It layers up. There's four pieces to the broom and you can create all kinds of things. There's a skull and some crossbones or just bones if you wanna use those separate. A bat, there's a spider, a spider web, a pumpkin. These are some little patches you could put on the witch's hat. And there's a bow and some other things just for accessories. So I cut them out. I used some colored paper to cut out the witch's hat itself. So I used a light purple and then a, an olive green. And these are what I'm gonna start to color on. So I've got my grip mat here and I'll go ahead and start with that broom and I'll put all the pieces of the broom on there and we're gonna color it up where the, the backmost piece is the darkest and then the middle is the middle color and the top is the lightest shade. So that's how I decided to do that today. I'm gonna start in with some beautiful brown colors. I've got antique linen and tea dye once again, and I'm just gonna ink those on. 
Now, I was not sure how this was gonna look when I layered it up, so it's kind of guesswork at first until you see how it all comes together. I ended up deciding to add a little more yellow to this broom, to the broomstick, not the stick itself, but the bristles of the broom. So on the top layer, I do add a little yellow at the end. And I think that it turned out really fun. I, I love this broom. I love that handle. For the handle, I just went ahead and used my Copic marker here in a warm gray. I'm using the chisel tip end of the marker and that makes it super easy to color up. There's the broom. Now I'm just going to go ahead and layer these together to see what it looks like. And I decided once I layered them, they needed a little bit more color. So I'm gonna spread those out once again, add a little more color and add some more yellow to the top. But this is a really cool broom. It looks, it gives you some great dimension. I didn't use any foam tape on this or dimensional adhesive. I just used liquid adhesive and it still gave me that dimensional look on the broom. I love it. Very, very clever. So I'll go ahead and glue all of this together and you'll see how this broom just comes together. It's really, really cute. It's a fantastic design. Here's a look at that broom all put together. And the great thing is you can make it any color you want. You can darken it up a little more. I love how it turned out. Now it's time to start on the witch's hats. I'm using one of those flat brushes that I was showing you earlier to add some of those shadows in where the hat creases. And this is super simple to do because there are some lines on the die itself that kind of show you where the shadows would be. And so using a flat brush really helps to get into those lines and add the shadows. I'm also going to ink around the edge of this witch's hat. So the whole hat is going to become a little bit darker. And to do that, I'm bringing in my little bitty brush here. This will help me do the inking. So this is not the flat brush. This is one of my other favorite brushes that I use all the time. And I have one for each color family and so here's the one for the purple i inked that up a little darker and i do end up going in and adding a little more ink to that one so i'm going to do the same thing on the green hat adding some dark green now i'm just going to color up some of the other die cuts that i cut out a little orange for the pumpkin and i'll color the spider with some black it's super simple to do on this grip mat I found that the grip mat really did help with the ink blending. I still out of habit held on to some of those because it's not sticky like a sticky mat. It's kind of like a photopolymer stamp that just kind of hangs on to your dies. Now for the background, I'm using a spiderweb red rubber stamp that I have. I don't believe the stamp is available any longer but I just love it so much and I had to use it. I went ahead and heat embossed that in silver on a black cardstock background. I love the way the silver catches the light when you heat set this. So I'm just gonna pour some embossing powder all over that and heat set it with my heat tool. You'll notice there are a few spots that I missed with the embossing powder, but that's okay because we're gonna cover them up mostly with the dies. So look, as I heat set this, you're gonna see that silver start to come to life. It's really gonna shine in the light. It's a pretty, pretty background. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and kind of lay out what we wanna do. I end up changing this up just a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of put them on and see what I like. And I thought that the hats needed to be changed around so I had room enough for my sentiment on this panel. So I gave the polar bear the purple hat and the hedgehog gets the green hat and I'm going to change up some of the accessories as well. I figured the green hat would look great with an orange bow on top and I turned it over so that it was the, the strands of the bow would fall on the right side of the hat instead of the left side, since I already had the broom over there. It works both ways, so I love that. I'm gonna use some orange on that to match the pumpkin. And 
so the hedgehog is going to have a little bow with a little buckle you can see the little buckle there on the right it's little and yellow and super cute <laughs> so i'll go ahead and glue that together i wanted to use the spider and the spider web in the top right corner so that's going to go right up there and the little broom is going to go in the bear the bear's hands which i love the dies because they give you a little spot to tuck things in for the sentiment i'm going to use this stamp set and it's perfect it's got the perfect sentiment it says double double toil and trouble i'm going to stamp that with some purple oxide ink and then i'll go ahead and heat set that with some clear embossing powder this is going to make sure that it doesn't smear and also I'll be able to ink over it because it'll be trapped in that embossing powder. I also wanted to mention that I put that little pumpkin in the arms of the hedgehog. I think it looks really cute like that. I cut that into a sentiment strip and now I'm going to use my oxides to color it up. I'm using the same colors that I used before with the weathered wood and the villainous potion. And I'll use the gray on the bottom and the purple on the top. We're just going to keep that color scheme going. And then I will wipe off any excess ink over the sentiment. The embossing powder really saves that. So you can easily add some ink but not cover up your sentiment. I will go ahead and glue these all together now. We've got our sentiment. We've got all our elements. It's time to put them down and add them to the card. And this is super simple once you get everything glued together. Now I've offset them a little to the left and the sentiment a little to the right with the spider and the spider web off to the right. So we've got some balance there. And I'll go ahead and just cut off the excess of that sentiment strip and add the rest. I did not want to cut off that broomstick. You see the curly end there that's sticking off the side of the card? I really was having a hard time with that. So I waited till the end. <laughs> I popped up the spider with a foam adhesive and there I cut off the broomstick finally. And I still think it's really, really cute though. And I'll add that to a top folding card base that's 110 pounds, a nice weight for a card base. And I'll just glue that down using my liquid adhesive. So here we have our double, double toil and trouble with our two adorable little witches and that cutest little broom. Let me hold this up for you to see and see how the silver shines in the light. Really beautiful. So let me show you the fox. I felt bad. I did not want that fox to be left out. So I cut him out and colored him up and added a green hat to him, a lighter green with the skull and crossbones. And I used some of those patches from the die this time he is swatting at that spider. <laughs> I did the spider web with black and some clear embossing powder so I could add some purple ink all around the edges. And I used a different sentiment that says your spooktacular on this one. I love these cards. But doesn't it look like that fox is trying to swat at the spider? <laughs> uh, that's what I would probably do too. I hope you enjoyed this video today and, and I hope you've been enjoying my Halloween series. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out with YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you are aware of every time I add a new video to the site. I have a lot more Halloween cards to share and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.